this morning we're starting our countdown of the nicest places in America. We have partnered with our dear friends at Reader's Digest to look for communities that embody values like kindness, hope, and respect. I had the great pleasure of being a judge. It wasn't easy. And we heard from so many incredible communities like the one, Adrian, that you we're blessed to get a chance to spend some time. Oh my goodness. I actually lived in this city, in uh -huh. Burbank, California. And I was so excited to actually see a city that was from California on the nicest places map. These neighbors are being intentional about remaining a deeply connected and dedicated community of love. Beyond the movie sets and bright lights of Hollywood, just 15 miles outside of downtown Los Angeles, you'll find a cozy community in Burbank, California that somehow maintains its small town feel. When you live in the big city or someplace like Southern California here, it can be really hard to connect with your neighbors, but we found one of the nicest streets with some of the nicest people. Let's meet them. It all starts with the people on North Evergreen Street who are open and friendly. People like Ashley Erickson. I have two boys, 10 and five. Okay. So when we moved in here, we saw this tree and we're like, okay, it's made for the swing. So can I try it? Absolutely. Been here Whoa! For five years. It goes really high. This is yeah. awesome. <laughs> with her desire to help create a welcoming environment for her kids and her knack for event planning. National Night Out 2018. Ashley became the neighborhood organizer. What's the best thing about Burbank? When I moved to this neighborhood, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. No idea. And these people have become my best friends. So why don't we meet some of your neighbors? Yeah, let's go. Let's swing on by. All righty. They say the magic happened by a connection through a private Facebook group. So we started it and now we've got almost 300 yeah. people from just the surrounding streets mm -hmm. and the families in the area. Meeting everybody through the group was it such an icebreaker to see who was living near us. The Facebook page and Ashley's events that she creates has just brought us all together. Mm -hmm. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it for at? years, families have come together here for parties in the park. You guys are so cute. <laughs> Good job. Sharing fresh picked produce. One couple brings homemade jam, another neighbor's just baked cookies, and even homemade wood fire pizza. John Orr's oven is like community property. Mm. And it's also delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and one family's backyard becomes everyone's playground. <laughs> We're so fortunate here in Southern California. I've got my orange tree here. I mean, who needs a thousand oranges, right? Were you um, always wanting to feed people that you didn't really know and then get to know them better? I guess so. I mean, I just like love making things. The Facebook group, of course, made it really easy because I could just announce, I made something. Everybody come over. I I'm hungry. I'm coming. Yeah, whoever's hungry, come on over. What kind of price tag can you put on it in terms of fulfilling you? It saved me. I think, especially as a mom when you're raising kids, it can feel really lonely. Lonely, yeah. really, really lonely. When you can just go across the street and say, I'm having a hard day, can I let the kids play and like have a glass of wine with you? What every human really boils down to is we all want connection. Companionship, a, a yeah. companionship, a connection to something in this life. There's no judgment. Do you guys all have the same faith? Do you guys all have the same political no. beliefs? No, Do you guys all, all have the same? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think one of our main similarities is we all really value community. If you want this in your own neighborhood, you can have it. You mm -hmm. just have to ask for it. And I think that's all that happened with us, too. A couple of people were willing to ask, and everybody wanted it so badly that we all jumped in. Beautifully said. Beautifully said. If you really want community in your neighborhood, then you just have to ask for it. Reach out to people. There's that old adage, give and you shall receive. So as you help others find support, you may find deep connections you've longed for. I love hearing about that and how, say, how they're intentional. And how you ask them, do, are you all saying politics? <laughs> no, it doesn't exactly. matter. We have more in common than not. And mm -hmm. often it, it boils down to community and just that, that common thread that we have. Absolutely. What are you going to remember most about your time there? Well, two things. One is that they use social media as a starting point, not the end game. So mm. it's like the best use of social media is to help us connect in real life, right? Right, right? And then the second thing was is that they weren't afraid to ask for friendships. I think so many times in life we are afraid to admit what we need. And it was nice that they were each other's solution. Well, you bring up so many fascinating points because as, as wonderful as social media and all that is, it isolates us in many ways. Yeah, and you end up because, staying inside. Right, right. But they use that as a tool 
to come together. To come together in each other's backyards and their yeah. kids play together and you can, you t I talk to the kids and the kids are so happy that they have friends mm -hmm. and we really need to remember that. That's what makes it so nice. And you look good in that swing. You look oh, really you. comfortable. You I had to do that. the swing, man. So much fun. All right. Everybody should have a yard swing. I love that, Adrian. <laughs> and tomorrow we're going to be heading to Baltimore and we will be revealing the nicest place somewhere in America live on Thursday. I know where it is, but I'm not telling you. It's a secret. <laughs> We'd love that we're partnering with Reader's Digest. I'm so Digest glad to do this, this with you. Thank this you, is wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.